happy new year everyone i hope you guys had a wonderful start to the new year and i wish that this year brings a lot of joy and positivity in each of our lives in today's vlog style video i will show you how i celebrated the new years at my house before i start today's video i want to take a moment and tell you that all of my videos are going to be based on my learnings and my experiences that i find worth sharing with my viewers so that you can also benefit from them in this video you will gain some practical outdoor party ideas which you can do even when it's raining so please watch the video till the very end okay that's too much of an intro so let's get straight into the video shall we so my husband and i decided to celebrate new year eves with some local friends at our house when we decided to throw the party we had planned to use our outdoor backyard space after we sent the invitation we found out that the forecast was showing heavy rain on new year's eve it was a little bit disappointing but we still wanted to go ahead with the party and we still wanted to use our patio space so the challenge was to keep the patio warm and cozy so that everybody stays comfortable this is where my husband's engineering expertise came to the rescue my husband loves doing a lot of diy's and home improvement projects so he ordered these clear plastic vinyl curtains to go all around the patio as a cover and hope that this would prevent the rain from coming in from the sides we do have a covered patio from the top but it's open from the sides so two days before the party he worked hard to install all of these clear plastic vinyl curtains and since it was going to rain really heavily at night we thought that the rain could still come in if the direction of the wind was towards the south so we filled the gap with this tarp that you can see here it's not that aesthetic looking but it served the purpose in future though i'm going to buy one more of these clear curtains just to cover the corners to make this area warm we were going to use this gas heater that we got 3 years ago from amazon this is amazing and it gives a nice warmth we also have a table with a fire pit in the middle that kept everybody warm and comfortable now i'll be walking you through how i decorated the inside of my house for the party as you can see that we still have most of our christmas decorations still on we did remove quite a few including our second christmas tree and many random signs around the house but we did not want to make it overwhelming because the holiday season was officially over my daughter loves to decorate for the holidays and i feel she has decorated the fireplace mantle very beautifully you can also see in my family room she has decorated the tv console bookshelf very cutely with reindeer this snow christmas trees etc i overall love the look of this little reindeer farm over here in the living room we have this christmas tree which we got from target at a discounted price my creative daughter went ahead and used a faux snow spray to make it look fluffed for an affordable price then she had this creative idea to get one personal ornament representing each family member While I did the clean up for the party this beautiful winter wonderland that you see in my house is all my daughter's creation so I am giving her all the credit that she deserves Now it's getting dark and we are getting ready and waiting for our guests to arrive so let me show you how my house is looking from the outside My husband and children made this light display with a reindeer and presents and when you walk in through the main door this is what you see My daughter wrapped the staircase with this green tinsel that resembles a leaf garland and on top of that there are these buffalo plaid ribbons She also put the fairy lights all over to give it a finished look We also moved our new stockings here so that we could open our fireplace In the beginning These stockings were hanging just above the fireplace. At the end of the hallway, you can see where I did the new year decorations. And this is going to be our main photo booth area. I used these golden circle plates I got from Dollar Tree and I customized them. I wrote "Welcome 2023" on these with a sharpie and I taped them on the wall. I also got this gold and black flag garland that I put it underneath to make it look prettier. 
On the side wall next to it, I taped these gold and silver pom poms and a Happy New Year sign. I also put two gold sequins curtains on the side to give this a complete look. I'm very happy with the way it looks. This is the main area where we're gonna take pictures inside. I will be putting the link to each of these items that I bought in the description below in case anyone is interested. So now I'm going to show you how the outside patio looks in the evening right before our friends came. And this is all my husband's hard work. Over here we have this area which is brightly lit up where we will be putting our drinks, champagne, wine, apple cider for kids and others. I got these disposable champagne clear glasses from Amazon. For the wine, we decided to use our wine glasses. I also added these golden black stars and the crystal disco ball to give it a glittery look. Now I'm quickly going to show you our seating area. And here my husband installed the projector so that we can also watch some stuff if we want to or we could just use it to play some party music. Over here you can see my husband added these lights on the ceiling and hung gold balloons and other decorations to finish the look. Overall, I am very very pleased with how this outdoor decoration turned out and I think we're gonna have a fabulous party despite the rain. I think this area looks very welcoming. What do you guys think? Please write in the comments below. Regarding the New Year party games, we plan to play musical chairs and also I printed some New Year bingo sheets for the kids. We decided to order the food from an Indo-Chinese restaurant. While my husband and I were busy doing the last minute party prep and getting ourselves ready, two of our friends volunteered to pick up the food and we all agreed to split the cost equally. This is very common practice in America where people, if they are hosting the party, they either do a potluck or they split the cost of the food that they buy from outside. As you can see, we have all the guests here and we're having a lots of fun. But we started playing a game called Antakshari. This is a commonly played party game in India where you have to sing the song that ends with the last letter of the song. It was a lot of fun and everyone thoroughly enjoyed it. Can a party ever be complete without some music and dance? So yes, enjoy some of our dancing glimpses. Here we have the New Year countdown going on and it's only 10 seconds before it is going to be 2023. Right after this, we popped the champagne, although I will say it wasn't that easy, but it worked. You can see how everyone is super excited and we are all hugging and greeting each other. Here's some more dancing that's going on. Last but not the least, we did our photo session at our photo booth. And this is our final family group picture before everybody started leaving. All of our friends thoroughly enjoyed the party and it was a huge success despite the rain. The place was so warm and cozy with our two heaters, rain protectors and everybody had a fabulous time. So yes guys, this is how we welcomed 2023 
all the kids and adults had so much fun. It was such a fun party. I hope you enjoyed this video and gained some tips that you can also apply if you are planning to have an outdoor party in the rainy season. I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would appreciate all your comments and likes. So please do that. It will give me the motivation to keep making more videos and have a happy and blessed new year. Bye.